Welcome to Takeaway Jam. We're at the start of Exodus chapter 3. Moses is now 80. He's been a shepherd for 40 years. His royal life back in Egypt must have been a distant memory. Now I think the day started off like a normal day, looking after his flock of sheep, warming up after a cold night, when Moses suddenly comes across flames and fire in a bush. But it's not actually burning. There's no smell, there's no smoke. Let me show you. This is a normal fire. I put it on here. Whoa, you can see smoke. You can see sm fire. And actually, very quickly, you get burnt bits too. Moses didn't see any of that. Now Moses thought it was strange. And so he moved closer. And the Lord called out to him, Moses, Moses. And Moses answered, here I am. Moses doesn't run away and God speaks to Moses again. And Moses, he takes off his sandals and he hid his face. God is too holy. He's too amazing to look at. And God tells Moses that he will lead the Israelites, that's God's special family, out of Egypt. What an extraordinary day. Now let us take a closer look at our extraordinary God. Firstly, we don't have a distant God. God knew Moses and calls him by his name. And the Bible tells us that he knows our names too. And he knows everything about us. He even knows how many hairs are on our head. And he really knows what we are like. Also, God spoke to Moses. And God speaks to us today, not through fire, but with the help of the Holy Spirit, through the Bible and through Jesus, through creation, through prayer, through Christian songs and other believers. Now in verse seven to nine, just as we saw last week at the end of chapter two, God had seen, he'd heard and was concerned about the Israelites suffering and will rescue them. We have an extraordinary God. He is a God of action, of compassion and love for his people. And he's just concerned about his people today. So when we hear of Christians being mistreated, let's pray and ask God to stop the suffering. And in verse 10, our third point, God always keeps his promises and he will rescue his people from slavery as he promised Abraham in the past. And this points us to God's greatest rescue plan for all people, for you and for me. And that's through his son, Jesus. He's perfect. When, and with his death on the cross, he rescues us not from slavery, but from our sin. So we're free to be part of God's family forever. And finally, Moses seems an unexpected choice. He was brought up an Egyptian. He killed a man. He ran away and he's old. How could he be the one to face Pharaoh and lead God's people? But we read that Moses had faith in God. And it is God who will save and rescue his people. And today, Jesus calls us to have faith in him. And even though we make mistakes and we don't fall up to the job, through us, God will rescue people and bring them into his special family. Why don't you pray this morning for one person who you know needs to be rescued by Jesus? So this morning, we've heard about an extraordinary day and our extraordinary God. Looking forward to seeing you next week when we'll find out more about God and how Moses feels about God's mission to send him back to Egypt. Have a good week ahead. God bless.